Hey beautiful, thank you so much for tuning in to today's KTV and the terrific Tuesday tip of the week. Yeah, got my orange and my black on, my orange and my black for Halloween. We are continuing with our Halloween theme today where we are going to talk about ooh, the scariest part of my business. The scariest part of my business. Now, what's interesting about this is this part of my business strikes fear in my heart. It used to petrify me. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a little less scared, but for some of you, it's not going to be scary at all. And for others of you who are very literal, who are very black and white, you're going to get this. You're going to understand how scary this is. But I caution you not to overlook this because this is an area that if you do not pay attention to, you are likely to miss a key ingredient, a key message, a key something to your success. Before I tell you what the scariest part of my business is, I want to share a story with you. Picture it. New York City, October 2011. I'm still a pharmaceutical sales rep and have attended a conference for entrepreneurs where I had for the first time in my life this fire in my stomach, this woman on a mission set feeling, so to speak. I walked up to one of my business idols after this conference and said, I'm new to business and I am meant to work with you. I don't even know if you work with people one-on-one, -on -one, but I am meant to work with you. That woman, many of you know, was Marie Forleo. I didn't know what working with her one-on-one -on -one would look like. I didn't know what it would cost, but I knew that if I was gonna make my business a reality, if I was gonna make it more than a Saturday babysitting job, if I was gonna make it more than this pie in the sky, I had to trust this feeling that I was meant to walk up to her and I was meant to work with her for a year. And so that's what I did. For the first time in my business, I trusted the scariest part of my business, which is my intuition. You see, some of you are going to be like, intuition is the easiest part of your business. It's not scary at all. But for those of you like me, who, who like what you can see, who like one plus one equals two, and it just is, and who are very literal, intuition can be difficult especially when you come from the corporate world and you've never trusted it before. What I can tell you is, after trusting my intuition, after being scared to death, after wondering how in the world am I going to pay for this amazing experience, but just saying yes to it, by just saying yes, and letting the rest work out by trusting my intuition, one of the hardest but best years of my life followed. And as a result, in October of 2013, I can tell you that the connections I met through working one-on-one -on -one with Marie Forleo, the business knowledge that I learned through not only Marie, but through the other women in the mastermind, the friends that I made in this experience changed not only my business, but my life. The people that believed in me when I was ready to give up. The person that said to me, I will get you where you want to go. Just put your trust in me. Those experiences I would have never had if I had not just said yes to my intuition and let the how work itself out. The scariest part of my business is trusting my intuition because it takes control out of my hands. It takes control out of my, it takes control away from me. But I will tell you that sometimes simply saying yes to a fire in your stomach, simply saying yes to being a woman on a mission, not knowing how, but just knowing that you are meant to do something, will be one of the biggest decisions you can ever make on this journey of starting, running, and maintaining a business that allows you to do what you love every day, make money, and make a difference. So I challenge you. What is it that your intuition is telling you you need to do? 
What is it that you just need to say yes to? I will not promise you that it'll be easy. But I will tell you that saying yes sometimes and being a woman on a mission can be the best thing you've ever done. I would love to know your thoughts about this. Please share with us. Is there something you've been avoiding? Something you've been trying to rationalize? Something you've been trying to, to figure out? Tell us. Share. Let's all support each other here because we all have big dreams. Let's get on to following them. Let's make 2014 the year that you said yes and your business took off. And tune in next week for the Halloween version of KTV. I cannot wait for this. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. I love Halloween and I love dressing up. And I can't give any more secrets away. But tune in next week for the Halloween edition of KTV. It's going to be spooked out.